Hey, hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. And this one we're going over kinetic typography and I actually had about 75% of this recorded when the transformer decided to blow in my neighborhood. So hopefully we will be able to get through it this time without my computer shutting down. And thankfully now some of the things that we did uh, were already pre-configured. So uh, let's go ahead and stop this composition and we'll go into this part one. Um, basically what we're gonna be playing with and you're gonna see that I have a couple of things already adjusted uh, is just this audio clip of Robin Williams back in 2008 about the presidential candidate. So let's take a listen to what we're going to be uh, coordinating the text with. Everyone's going like, we can't elect a woman. Why? Because every 28 days you'll have severe negotiations. <laughs> Alright, so as you can see, there was already some text on the screen. If I just scroll through here, you'll be able to tell uh, what I've got laid out there. But let me take this shy mode off and take a look at the layers. So I've gone through and added uh, individual text layers, and I've cut these off where these markers are. That's where I was able to judge some of the words um, just by kind of listening and marking those so we have an idea. Uh, if you want to know how to cut these when you get to a layer, let's say you want to adjust this right here, you can use Alt and right bracket, and that'll cut that right there. Let me go ahead and pull up my screencasting. That way you guys can see the buttons that I'm using for a shortcut. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, what we've got, I've laid out all the text, or rotated it, and just kind of made it in a square fashion. Um, and what we're going to do now is go through and animate each of the words to go through with this audio. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing I want to show you is how you can use an animation preset to save um, and reuse the animation preset so you don't have to add your keyframes. So let's go ahead in this first one, and what I want to do is drop my frame rate down to 15, and that's going to cut the movement of the clips in half because the frame rate's 29.97, it's gonna take half, so it's gonna result in slow motion. So let's take a listen, just up to this first marker and see what we have. Okay, so everyone's going like we, basically. And so if we listen from here to the next one, can't elect. So from here to here is a woman, and then here's the Y. So let's go to the beginning, and we're gonna start adding keyframes. So I wanna to go to my scale, keyframe and I'm going to go a little bit further about right here and we're going to add 100% scale because this is where we want it to stay and then we're going to go back to the beginning and add another keyframe at zero so that way we will have nothing here and then it's going to pop in and so the way we can do that is go right before this keyframe uh, we're going to add higher than 100% so we're going to go to 110 and then if we play this back real quick, uh, and I'll mute the audio, you can see that it pops up. So it's not quite as fast as I'd like it, so let's drop it down a little more and see what that looks like. Okay, so it comes in and pops up. And then let's see what it sounds like with the audio. Okay, so everyone's... So we're gonna do this and leave it there, and we're gonna highlight all of these F9 to easy ease, and it should give us some more smooth animation. So let's take a listen to it. Okay, and then if we wanna to listen to it back regular, we can change it back to our regular frame rate. Okay, so it's gonna be pretty quick to go through these, and we'll adjust all of them real quick, but before we do that, I wanna show you how you can save this animation preset. So we're going to select the scale and make sure we have all the settings correct. And important to remember that whatever scale you have this set on, that's what the preset's going to be set for. So if you have another one of these layers that's 85% or something, it's going to go with this original scale. So you want to make sure that you keep all of the scales 100% and change your uh, character text size if you're going to be changing the the uh, words around. So how do we save this? We go to scale, we go up to animation and save animation preset. That's going to take you into this folder. Now I've already saved one and I called it text bounce and it's already in there. So we save it there and then what we can do is go over to our effects and presets and just type out the name of the uh, effect we want to use and there it is right there under user presets. So we can take this user preset and then drop it onto our next layer that we're going to use it on and then if we drop this down we can see under the transform that it's right there now what we're going to need to do is move this over just a little bit because we want it to be in line with uh, this layer and these keyframes so let's drop it here and then we'll play it back real quick 
everyone's going like okay so really fast so let's go ahead and just do some quick adjustments on these and uh, see if we can get them lined up pretty close so we're gonna take this effect and we're gonna drop it onto here um, and then we're gonna move this over just a little bit and we're gonna go to the Wii and we're gonna drop it in and then we're gonna add it to can't and remember we can always move these keyframes but we just kind of want to line them up and see how close we can get them so uh, let's see how close this is right now Everyone's going like, we can't let you. okay so we, we need to slow down uh, from we can't let you. so elect is about right here so we need to go into elect and we're going to change these transform options down to here so let's see right here we can't let you. So the reason I went to the last one is so now we know that all the rest of the words are in between elect and before. So let's minimize this. We're going to go to can't. We'll open that up. And a shortcut that you can use if you want to open up these properties without having to drop them down is just select on the layer. And you can use your U key. And that will show any keyframed properties that you have set up. So you can use U to hide it and then U to open up any of these. So if we had scale and position and some of the other ones, it would open up all the keyframed properties. Um, so we're going to use that one there, and then we, uh, let's drop this down about right here. So let's see what that looks like. Everyone's going like, we can't elect a woman. Okay. So right here, Everyone's going like, we can't. so we need to move the we back a little bit. So we'll select those keyframes. Everyone's going like, we can't elect a woman. Okay, so and to shorten up the tutorial, I'm not going to get these exact, but I want you to get the idea of how to see everything. So let's uh, select all of these and use U to kind of close those up and we can see a lot, a lot better. So now if we look at this, so just a woman, we're going to go in here, we're going to take our text bounce, drag, drag it onto here. And we could also, you know, if you wanted to select both of these, you could drag the preset over to the top one. So now those p both pop up at the same time, so we want to move those. I'm going to move the woman scale, and we're going to put it about right here. So we need to move it back just a little bit. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And then so for this Y, we're going to do the same thing. Drop the preset on here, and we'll drop this open. And we want that to start right at the beginning. Okay, so we can see that that looks pretty good. So we'll play up to this marker. Everyone's going like we can't elect a woman. Why? Okay, so you can see that the front needs a little bit of work, but we'll leave it as is right now. And this is probably going to be one of the longest tutorials that uh, I've had on my channel. So hopefully you guys are getting value out of this. So let's see what we have towards the end. Because every 28 days you'll have severe negotiations. With so what we want to do is stop about right here and put a marker and you can make sure you're not clicking any layers use your star key and then that'll tell us where it ends so if we play this we'll know that that's where it ends and we can fit everything in between here so let's go through here and we've got every about right here and we should go through here and keyframe these or add a marker and these are just going to be rough and like I said for the for this brief tutorial and we got Yule here have severe have severe and severe is about right there so that'll be for each word and that'll be helpful because we can go through and then be able to align the properties uh, right at the correct places and time Okay, so let's let's get started on this next part here. What I'm going to do is bring this back, every and we're going to drag our effect onto Cuz, and then we're going to go to each marker and add this effect at that time. So 28 days, move forward a little bit. We'll bring this down. You'll have, okay, we got two more. 
and then we'll drop this here. So this should be pretty close. Let's go ahead and see this end part. Because every 28 days you'll have severe negotiations. So we need to speed that up a little bit. Uh, this is the end. So let's bring that back a little further. We'll listen to it. Negotiations. So about right here. So let's open that up, move these keyframes way back here. Have severe negotiations. We're going to move this back even further. And then severe looked like it came in a little late too. So let's open up these. Move it back. Move this with it so we know where they are. Have severe negotiations. Have severe. Okay, and so have. Looks like we need to get that one back just a tiny bit too. So a lot of this is trial and error, you know, what you're going to do, what you see that works, and then going through and refining it. So let's go. Every 28 days you'll have severe negotiations. Okay, so you can see that it's not perfect, but it is uh, coming along well. And I think to keep the tutorial short, I want to leave it at this, what we've done. But uh, let's go through the beginning and see how close it is with the effects and see how it turned out. Everyone's going like, we can't elect a woman. Why? Because every 28 days you'll have severe negotiations. <laughs> so that's all for this tutorial. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section. And if there's a tutorial that you'd like me to do, you know, just just tell me, and uh, I'll get it set up for you. We'll we'll do it on the channel, and uh, we'll go from there. So I really appreciate you being here. Please subscribe to the channel. The more subscriptions uh, that I can get, the more people that I can help, and I'm just here to show everyone uh, the skills that I know. So you guys have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.